Hello again, this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with Arteza Paints. Arteza Paints. These are the Vibrant Essentials Non-Toxic and I have mixed up the Pearl Magenta, the Arctic Blue, and the Copper Pearl. And I'm going to use them in conjunction with all of my other colors which were Pearl Gold or, or uh, Aztec Gold Bronze or whatever else comes to hand. And I have another package around here somewhere with the rest of the colors, but you can always ask me what colors I'm using. Check under the video for coupon code if you want. And I am going to, that's a space gray. I'm gonna move these out of my way for the moment, bring my 16 by 20 inch canvas forward. And I think I'm gonna use my dustpan. And I want a layer of wet paint all over my canvas. And this is just my regular recipe that you can find under the video. And hopefully I'll be able to turn that around. Turntables are handy. And there are some on my Amazon link. And this is the Oxo Omelette Turning Spatula also on my Amazon link. Best paint spreading tool I know. And it's a good day because I found my tweezers that were missing for three or four days. And what that means is, if I didn't hide them on myself, ha! Huh. Yeah, that's a premise I can't follow through on. In any case, let's just spread some paint and hope for the best. I can see there are a few things in there I might be worried about. So what I'm thinking is that I'm going to fill my dustpan and instead of dragging it like I do sometimes, I'm going to dribble it and then I'm going to tip and see what happens. I'm also going to put some of my regular recipe black into it as well as those other colors. I'm having trouble covering all the way to my edges today. I guess I'm too busy talking and not focused enough. But the reason why my paint is such a heavy layer today is because I want to make the dribbles move. So I'm going to throw that in the bucket. And I'm going to come over here. This is the magenta pearl I know. And it's such a pretty color. I'm looking forward to using that. And I'm going to use an Arteza Gold, which I believe is referred to as a gold mica powder. Or gold mica. Yeah, just gold mica. I've got a teal, which if I could find the box, I would tell you is... Nope, that's not it. Well, I've got another, I think this is, these are the iridescent paints. Yeah, now I know. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the Arctic Blue again, because it's not the same, that's neat. And this is another iridescent. Let me see if I can find those. I'll show you what they look like anyway. They're two ounce bottles, they come in a 10 pack and they're pretty awesome. I love them. I wish I could have unlimited quantities of them, to be honest with you. So I'm going to use a little bit more of that blue because it's beautiful. I've got Plum Color Shift. Fabulous colors. Absolutely awesome combination I'm looking at. I'm going to put some more of that gold right down to the bottom. I've got a bunch of white metallic pearl. And I'm just going to squeeze that right down in because that will bulk it out. And I've got this turquoise again, which is, I'm not sure what color that is. I'm a very bad representative. That is fantastic. Okay. Well, I'm absolutely loving these colors. And I'm going to take my regular black, squeeze it all the way through there. And then... I'm going to try and be random. I'm going to let my colors drain down in my dustpan without leaking out. I'm going to move some of my colors that I've got over here out of the way so I have a little room to work. And they'll all be handy if I need them. I need an edge catcher, which I do happen to have. Nice long one. Oh, you know what? I really want to just 
hit this with a torch because I can see there's some cells. Some beautiful cells right now. What gorgeous colors those are! Oh boy, oh boy, I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to use the Arteza Metallics with the iridescence. And just basically, you know what? I'm like that. Because I've never done it exactly like this before, I'm going to do it like this now. And I have more Arteza Gold, which I'm happy about from a previous engagement. Bring my edge catcher up, where it will definitely be more useful. So that's a rather big swath, but I left enough ne negative space thinking that I would have the opportunity to probably fill it. And I think I'm right. I'm just hoping that I don't waste too much of it. I love, love, love that, um, did I write down the name? The Pearl Magenta. Yeah. Matter of fact, I love it so much I think I'm going to let myself have a little more of it. And then when I get to the edge catcher, I might be able to, to do something with it. It's nice if you use a, uh, well, it could be anything. <laughs> it could be a fork. You could blow around with a straw. Whatever you do, you could definitely do stuff. If you stick a tool in there. Total experiment. I have not used the metallics with the pearls and the iridescence before. Really tempted to take those right off and put them right back in, but I think what I'm going to do instead is flow them around because I want to see what happens when I do that and I can do the other another time. Now before I go any further, I'm going to let that go down in this direction because I want this paint to go down. It's a rather long edge catcher. And you never know what I might do with this depending on how I'm feeling about it at the time. Scrape those right back off. Let all that flow right back again. You can't make brown with purple. Well, you can, but I don't. <laughs> Not so far, anyway. Knock on some wood, somebody, would you? I dislike that the, the light is on the wrong side of my artwork. But I think I'm going to let some of that drain off. And then I'll just put it back on somewhere else. Which I can see I have somewhere else to put it. Kind of reminds me some something of my funnel pours, which I would like to try next. I'm going to take all that extra paint right off there as best I can. Try not to drop anything other than what I want into my composition. I'm not sure you can see that. Gonna grab an oxo omelet turning spatula and put the rest of that paint in there. In my next life, I'm going to have a huge workspace. <laughs> oh, I like that. I'm gonna grab some of this dustpan paint because it's so beautiful. See where else I might want to want to put it. Do 
give it a bit more of a tip. We had some beautiful cells in there. I'm going to rinse my hands off. I'm back. I have some orange I didn't use and I'm thinking I might like to very much. Put some of that orange, which is a shady orange. It's an iridescent. I'm going to put that right into my dustpan with whatever residual colors are in there. I think that that's going to be pretty nice. I use my dustpan as a delivery system. Tip to spread. I should have just done a sky. I'm making a mess. Go figure. And I'm going to probably have just enough time to do this. But I am going to get to see what all these colors look like beautifully dried. Happily enough. Bring that right down here again. I think I want a torch. I want to take some of the paint right out of my dustpan. Put it right on the edge of the canvas where I need some coverage. Take the rest of my paint. Dribble some of it. Yeah, that's not hurting my feelings any. Really. I still think I want some either some of this plum iridescent or maybe a little more of that magenta. That's pretty. That's really pretty. If I need any black, I'll do that too. Yeah, I'm not unhappy with that. A little waggle here and there. Before I tip, if I'm going to tip at all, I don't know if I want to tip. I kind of like what I've got. That's pretty. Of course, you can't really go wrong with those colors. I'm dying to just swipe some of this to tell you the truth. Dustpan back. What do I want to do to that? I want to torch that. I want to torch it. I also want to tip it. As I can see, I've got a couple places. I'll be cleaning up for a bit. Very tempted by spiraling some things out or throwing some chain in there. Actually, I'm really liking a lot of this. It's not really like anything I've done for a long time.
think it's almost time to stop adding paint. So I love you guys. There's over 90,000 of you. Please check under the video for the 10% uh, off Arteza coupon for paint. And their website is there. Should you want to sub sub subscribe, their YouTube channel is there. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to put on the end screens yet, but you might want to look for something there, there, there also. Um, I have over 1,600 videos. If you guys are interested, you can find them organized by the 100, by 16 lists of 100, and by, uh, by topic. And I see that I've got some canvas right there, but not anymore. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty intense. I could probably put a balloon in there, but I don't think I need to. I want to look at that for a second, and I really love this, Ar this Arctic blue, and I think it would make me happy to put a little bit more down there. up here and just to move the eye around there I'm not unhappy with that I'm actually pretty happy with that. I've got two minutes to tell you guys whatever else I want to tell you and to see if there's anything else that I feel like I must do. And I'm not sure what that is or not, but I do not I do know that when I put the gold in after everything else, then when the painting dries, I have some very shiny spots. So that's going to make me happy tomorrow. Let's see where else. Just follow that pattern. Yeah, I like that. I'll probably torch one more time to get rid of the bubbles caught in the paint. Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I would really appreciate that. I love you guys. Hope you come again. Check under my link tree for my Amazon link, for my Facebook groups, for my Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. Yeah, I know, I'm still playing. Still playing, can't stop. like the loop-de-loops and the waggles, what can I say? There. <laughs> no, you can't trust me. So I should check and see what I'm supposed to be telling you guys. Maybe a couple swivels down here won't hurt anything. Well, I got one minute left to tell you guys thank you very much for all the donations that will help keep me painting. And if you're interested in continuing that tradition, please feel free to use PayPal or Patreon. They're on my channel banner icons on my YouTube channel and under the link tree. Yeah, I'm liking that a lot. This is going to be really neat to see tomorrow when it's dry. Anyway, you know I love you, and there's over 90,000 of you. I want to say thank you for all the wonderful comments you leave me, and uh, I appreciate you so much. So you guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida, at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, with a mess to clean up soon. But um, I never did use any green. I will see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla, out. Oh, Teespring clothing under the video is mine, too. All of her print leggings and t-shirts. I'll see you and on. Bye for now.